With your first News at 6 Sports, here's Lee Timmerman. It's the high school summer all-star games that started them all. The Lions high school basket, all-star basketball teams are in Bismarck tonight, and they play in Fargo on Tuesday. Now, with three divisions of basketball now, the all-star rosters are double-A against a combined A and B team. It's tradition the girls hold their camp in the capital city. It's going to be a fun experience. You know, it's, it's pretty much equal playing time. Everyone's going to get a chance to play and just show us what you can do. And, you know, it's a pretty big stage. And... Uh, lots of people will be watching. I think these gyms are going to be packed these, these, for these two games. Athletes of this caliber have been through the playoffs. Some have a state championship and many are on the all-state team. But there's something about playing in these games that's extra special. A huge accomplishment. You know, this is kind of the end of your high school career. So it's really cool to be honored on this team, to be put on this team. So it's so fun and I know that it's like such an honor. And it just feels great to be playing with all these like really good girls and stuff like that and playing against really good girls. Um, and just knowing like kind of the being a part of the legacy of the All-Star Games. I don't know. Pretty fun. The girls game is just underway at Bismarck High School with the boys to follow at around eight. Also, JT will be putting Matea Mathern of EKM in the sports spotlight this week. Bismarck's Alicia Kenfack is an All-American. The legacy wrestler finished sixth at the big USA Nationals in Fargo. She won nine of her 11 matches and finished in sixth place at 100 pounds. Williston's Carrie Carmichael plays golf for the University of Mary. Well, today she put the finishing touches on a state stroke play championship. Carrie shot a 75 at Hart River in Dickinson, and her two-day total is 146, a three-shot win over Bismarck's Abby Schmidt. There was a tie for third place. Taylor Schmidt only needed one swing on number seven at Apple Creek. His hole in one covered 152 yards and he used a seven iron. Well, after being the lone Northwoods League team from North Dakota, the Larks have gotten some company. The Hot Tots last year and the Big Sticks this season. Now it usually takes a little time to develop a rivalry, but the players in Dickinson have gotten on board quickly. We've gotten beaten up by the Larks a little bit, but they're obviously a big rival just being right down the street from us in an hour and a half from here and I mean then my not too is not too far we play them tomorrow being you want to be the best team in North Dakota and in Northwood so that's just you know, it's that extra you know, push to wanting to beat them the big sticks did beat the Larks yesterday 18 to 5 Bismarck did win the first five meetings between the two teams though yeah, it definitely means more um, when we go play the Larks and the Hot Tots, like cause those are the in-state guys um, with our team. So, I mean, we obviously want to beat them a lot more. So, The Big Sticks are in Bismarck tonight for a game that's scheduled to begin in about 10 minutes or so. A lot less heat out there, too. Yes. All right, we'll be right back after this. <laughs>